Greetings, everyone. Today we're here to discuss report migrations, specifically comparing the current or old way of migrating reports, in this case from Cognos to a system like Power BI, and compare it at the end to a tool that we've created called the Migration Assistant that we think makes this much more efficient and effective. So first, the old way. What we typically start with is we go into uh, an actual report. So this is a sample report that we have for purposes of this demonstration. It's got three pages to it. I'd call this a, a relatively simple report with a cross tab and a bar chart, with just a couple data items on it. The second page has a list and a pie chart. And the last page just has a gross profit by country. So then what we would need to do is actually drill into that report and open it up in the report editing environment, which is Cognos Report Studio. Now, it's important here that the user would need to understand this reporting environment, which is non-trivial. This is a very complex and sophisticated reporting tool that requires uh, some training to use for sure. So here you can see kind of the design environment. And the first thing we need to do is sort of look at the report and figure out its structure, meaning the pages and the objects on those page pages, like the cross tab and the bar chart. And then we'd have to look and find out the data items that are in this report so we understand everything. And more than likely, what we would do is we would take all this information and we'd be manually entering this into a spreadsheet, capturing the things like the report name and the queries and the pages and the containers and all of the structure of that report. And then we need to ascertain where the data came from before we can even begin working on this. And so we'd have to go into each data item here and understand that this comes from salesquery.products.productline, et cetera, et cetera. Because I happen to know this report and this model, I'm able to then understand that this comes from this package called Go Data Warehouse Query, and that happens to reside way down in this namespace called Sales Query, which contains this data set that is used for sales analysis and has this nicely modeled star schema that has all my sales measures, and then has some calculations and uh, dimensional information, all sort of derived from uh, really an OLTP type of a schema. So I know that to recreate this report, I'll need at least some of this structure here, and then not to mention things like filters and whatnot. So then I have to take one further step back and actually open another tool called Cognos Framework Manager, which is again, a, not, a tool that is not for the faint of heart. And I have to go find, here can, you can see the package that shows up in that report called Go Data Warehouse Query. And I know that, again, this comes from the sales and marketing query. And here you can see the metadata. This model has been constructed according to Cognos best practices, which means it has several abstraction layers. So for example, if I need products, I have to go find the target that that's been shortcutted from and then go into the structure of this to understand that these components came from uh, model query subject sales and marketing product product line, which means I then have to go back down to the database level. So there's sort of three levels of abstraction here and go down to sales and marketing data, model query subject sales and marketing. And then I finally get to product where I can actually see that this comes from a table called sales product dim, et cetera, et cetera. These all come from sales product dim. And I can finally go down to my database layer and look, for example, at sales fact, where now I know this comes from the data source, go data warehouse, SLS sales fact. And I have to do that for all the data fields in that report, which means the time dimension, the products and the geographies. So I'd have to do that again, entering all of that into a spreadsheet and then going over to Power BI and redoing that model. And then imagine multiplying this across hundreds or thousands of reports. Now, I mentioned there was an easier way. Well, what we created here at Centurus is a tool called the Centurus Migration Assistant. And what this provides is what we do is we go in and we interrogate your content store, your Cognos content store and pull back all that information about uh, your reports and combine it with audit data and help you easily get to the information that you need to migrate many reports very easily. So instead of having to go between all these tools and understand the tools, I have an easy to navigate report where I can just go pick the report that I had built here 
and I can right away see the namespaces, the Cognos query subjects, the underlying tables, the underlying database tables, and the data source that this report came from. So instead of having to go back between all these tools and document it, it's right here. And then I can go into the report itself, pick the report, and I can see the structure of the report, the layout, and all the query items. So I can filter out the queries, look at the containers that are in there, that cross tab and that combination chart. I can see the data items, where they came from, and things like the filters that are all captured in that one place. And then I can look at the other queries and do the same thing. However I want to do this, it's all cross-filtered, and I can look at the report, and I can just start to build that report much more rapidly. So you can imagine the time savings when you look at this across, again, hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of reports in your organization. So this was a quick demonstration and comparison of the old way of migrating reports versus what we think is a much more effective and efficient way of doing that using the Centurus Migration Assistant. Please contact us for more information and we'd love to discuss it with you in further detail.